Alright, what's going up everyone on YouTube? I start with part 2 of my March 31st DVD update. So, uh, move over camera. First I picked up, Blockbusters has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of DVDs without cases. I have no idea what the fuck happened to all these cases. They just, every Blockbuster I went into that's going out of business it has hundreds and hundreds of DVDs just like this. And, and these cases, but it's like, what the hell happened to the cases? Anyway, picked up Paprika. This is an anime that it's supposed to be like Inception a little bit. Um, I'm not that big of an anime person. I, Spirit Away is definitely one of my favorite anime things. That's pretty much the only anime thing that I watch. That's a brilliant movie. I hope that comes out on Blu-ray if it's already not. But I heard this one's like Inception and it's anime, so for 99 cents, even though it doesn't come with the case, I can pass it off. Alright, next for four nine nine three nine nine the Blockbuster we got Goliath. This is a Blockbuster exclusive. Um pretty much about this guy who is shit on his luck and is I think it's his girlfriend. Uh let's see. Just his life sucks. Every every everybody leaves him and his cat dies. His his cat that he loves more than anything. So after that, this movie is just about him trying to find a new cat and trying to find the most awesome cat ever. So it's really fun. It's a blockbuster exclusive. You probably get online for about the same price. Definitely just go check this one out. You know, this is another one I just had to buy, even though I saw it on demand when it first came out, and it's really nothing special. And that's I'm I'm still here. I know this is out on Blu-ray as well. Just this is not something that's really important to me for picture quality and for $3.99. I figured, why the fuck not? <laughs> um, hmm. I really didn't enjoy this movie. I thought it was alright. You know, it's worth the watch. You know, I just bought it in case someone's like, I want to see. I'd be like, here, you can just borrow my copy and watch it. Um, and Joaquin Phoenix, I think, I think it was just all a show, and he wasn't really fucked up. He just wanted to get publicity. You know, I wouldn't recommend buying it. Rent it if you can. Alright, also for a dollar seventy-five at the pawn shop, picked up Chasing Amy. This is a Citerian. I could, can't pick up a dollar seventy-five Citerian. Can't say no to that. Um, I know you get this for ten bucks on Blu-ray, but once again, this is a dollar seventy-five, and I love Kevin Smith's flicks. And I surprisingly have not seen this, so for dollar seventy-five, I pick it up. Comes with the insert. <laughs> I love how Jane signed the box was in Scream Three. I love that cameo. This is so awesome. I was watching falling off my couch when they just walked by. I was like, yeah, Jane signed the Bob. <laughs> a cool little book and everything. Kevin Smith always makes cool DVDs. So. That's Chase and Amy for $1.25. Next, I picked these up today at Family Video, which is an, a brilliant store. They have so many old, good titles. And, you know, the stickers, they have stickers on them to say, Buy Me Now for two ninety nine or 2 for 4 you know. I just took them off and put them on the ones that I want, and they, they never know it. So whatever. So this is, <laughs> this is one that I heard about. My good friend Tom here on YouTube, which Tom, you better come back. Everyone misses you, and you know, I don't know why you closed your account. You're just, you're just such an awesome dude, and why did you decide to just leave like that? And I know you're moving all that, but you didn't have to close your account. So I really hope you come back. Everyone really misses you here on YouTube. You're just such an awesome guy. Your collection is awesome, but I think you, I heard you talking about this movie. It's Pinocchio's Revenge. This is one that I just took one of the stickers off of. Stupid movie and put it on here, and they sold it to me for two nine or two dollars. So it's the widescreen version, unfortunately, it's about pr pretty much is about Pinocchio killing people. So really looking forward to watching this. Probably pop this in when I'm done doing this. I picked. I was just looking at the shelf. I was like, what the fuck is this? Have to get this. It looks so freaking weird, and that's heart beeps, and you know it just screams eighty. Let's smoke weed and watch this type thing. So, 
the two bucks, just had to pick it up. I mean, let's look at that cover. It's just robots. Oh, it just looks so awesome. Reminds me of Mother Goose Rock and Ryan, which is, I made a video about my five top pleasure films, and that was my number one film. So, this just looks so freaking weird. And I hate how Family Figo puts those stickers in the middle, and then they make fix that but for two dollars I mean oh cannot wait to watch this and just crack up the whole time I picked up a uh, mayor of the sunshine strip this is a documentary about pretty much rock and roll um really looking forward to watching this I the, the back sounds really awesome so you know I, I'm, I'm into rock it's my favorite genre of music so I cannot wait to watch this Next, I picked up Rocket Science. This is an HBO HBO film. Pretty much, it's about this kid who has a stuttering problem, and he meets this girl, and she tries to make him into a public speaker, kind of like the King's Speech, which is January released in oh, next week, PG-13, which is totally stupid. I wrote a whole eight-page paper about the MPAA and how much bullshit it is. <laughs> Yeah, that was, took me two months freaking research paper, but at least it was something that I enjoyed writing about. But, there's this, this, this. I actually picked up We All Scream for Ice Scream. I didn't know this was only 57 minutes or I wouldn't have got it, but I've been just eyeing it for since the summer. I was like, oh, fuck it, it's three two dollars or not. It's pretty much about this killer clown who drives an ice cream truck and goes crazy and kills all the guys from when he was little and then when they grow up he just went around and started killing all of them you know this is Tom Holland and Child's Play is you know one of my favorite films of all times as you can tell by my horror painting that Tom made me I just love Child's Play so I'm looking forward to watching this alright right on time and finally, get the going to pieces. It's a horror documentary. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna pop this in too probably today and check this out. Really looking forward to watching this. You know, got John Carpenter, Wes Craven, Rob Zombie, Tom Spini, which I wish was there when I saw Maniac a few weeks ago. But you know, for two bucks, can't say no. So that's everything. That's a lot of stuff. So I only have two Blu-rays. I can't believe that, but they're all DVDs. So. Thanks for watching everyone, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.